For this video, I'm going to talk about blockchain and filmmaking. I want you, by the end of this video, to be excited about blockchain. I want you to understand what it is and how you can use it as a filmmaker. My name is Brooke Beerhouse, and I'm an independent filmmaker specializing in documentary films. In 2014, I was introduced to Bitcoin, and like many people, I had no idea what Bitcoin was and especially what blockchain was. My stepfather introduced Bitcoin to me and I invested early and was able to fund and finance a majority of my films. Because of this, I wanted to better understand what I was using. So I wanted to know what blockchain is, what it can be used for, and primarily if I could use it for distribu distribution of my films. What is blockchain? That's a really simple question and the answer is simple as well. Blockchain is a database. Blockchain is a way to store information. Information and data is stored on blocks, and once they get filled, they chain to another block of information, and so on and so forth. What makes blockchain different, though, than other ways of housing data is that data is stored in different computers and servers around the world. It focuses on peer-to-peer -peer review. So instead of a centralized way of housing servers that could get hacked and your privacy could be lost, these servers allow for your privacy to be at the forefront. Primarily when people think about blockchain, they think of Bitcoin, and with good reason. Bitcoin was the first to use blockchain. Now, Bitcoin uses it for financial transactions as a monetary and financial ledger for these transactions. But blockchain is not just for financial transactions. In fact, we are living in a time where the impacts of blockchain can be seen and used daily. Blockchain gives full transparency to filmmakers. What does this mean? It means that when we use blockchain along with digital media management, we can directly market our films, reduce piracy of our films, and most importantly, assure quick and accurate payouts. That is the biggest discretion that I have with the current model today. It's how are we actually making a living? How are we monetizing our films and getting rewarded for the content that we're creating? Instead of working with a distributor, an aggregator, a major streaming platform and giving up a lot of your rights, and you also give up your right to see and analyze the data that viewers and audiences are giving to those streaming platforms. When it comes to negotiating with platforms, distributors, and aggregators, there's always hidden fees. Now, one of the most important tools we have as filmmakers is knowing our audiences. But when we give up our rights to know those analytics on major platforms and streaming services, they own all of our audience views, our engagement, our demographics, and that's where the problem comes in where there's no full transparency. Blockchain and blockchain platforms allow filmmakers to see their audience, to know who we want to engage with, and that's what I am most excited about. So when you go in for renegotiation deals on streaming platforms, you can know exactly how many minutes your film has been streamed or your digital series, and that makes it extremely lucrative as a filmmaker. Now, not everyone's getting streaming deals, so when you wanna look at analytics, you wanna look at data of your audiences, you're left with either utilizing YouTube, you can use Vimeo On Demand, um, you pay a platform fee, and then you also get a percentage fee taken out for every transaction, which, again, isn't fully sustainable. So with these new platforms coming out, one that I'm excited about and I'm going to be sharing another video is Gaze TV. And what it utilizes is tokenomics. And the other video that I will have of this will explain it further. But what you need to know is that blockchain allows for us to take back control as filmmakers. And cryptocurrency isn't some crazy out of this world, new age currency. It's here, you've been using it, probably without you knowing. And really it allows for us to have a peer-to-peer -peer transaction without the middleman. And that's really exciting. That will be in the next video, so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and like, comment below.